How's it going? It's going well. Thank you so much for being here at Wales Comic oh, Con. It's it's guys, pleasure to be here. Hello, hello everybody. Yay! It's fantastic to see you all. And to see you two getting on so well as well now. I mean, after, after you shot Alec dead, I I mean, thought, normally as a game changer, and, and, but you guys, you've, you've, you've pulled it together. It's absolutely fantastic. And he's pretty much alive. Yeah, yes, right? You sit in here. You didn't do your job right, mate. No, no. <laughs> Saved by Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and Brett, how are you, sir? It's fantastic to have you here. Thank you. I'm good. I'm well. Thank I, you. How I, are you, sir? I'm good. I expected you to be exploding through the door with some type of karate move or something, which... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have to get paid extra in order to do that. <laughs> I, I never thought I'd be saying this, but you and I, we 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 do a certain a, a sort of you know a job, some certain type of thing. So outside of here, I'm a doctor of herpetology, and of course, we both work with baby crocodiles at the moment, do we not? Um, you mean uh, because of Lyle Lyle crocodile? I do. Um, well, are you talking about my character or me? Because <laughs> well, I, well, I, I mean, <laughs> neither neither worked with the crocodile. Uh, I play Mr. Grumps in Lyle Lyle Crocodile, and so. Yeah, no, but I was the enemy of the crocodile on that, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, do you like working with baby crocodiles? I like working with baby You crocodiles. actually work with baby crocodiles? I, I work with big crocodiles. You work with well. big crocodiles, yeah. Big, big, big crocodiles. Amazing animals. They are. Yeah, that, what do you do? So you, like, study them? I, I work with them, and, and the BBC make me do ridiculous things like walk into rivers and clap until the big crocodiles come out, and then I've got to feed them. Do that type of thing. A wildlife presenter. Dangerous. Yes. Dangerous. It's all, it's so all you're all like you're like Steve Irwin, but with crocodiles. Yeah. I'm but sorry. I mean, God forbid. You know, I, I don't want you to end up like uh, yeah. Steve Irwin. No. no I just that's how I knock on wood. You know. <laughs> Always wear. Oh, I say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be safe. Be safe. <laughs> But no, I didn't work with a real crocodile. It was a CGI. That's voices Sean Mendez. So a lot of big Lyle crocodile fans here. I can see. Yeah, it's a movie that's out. Uh, but we're not here to talk about that. They want to no, talk about Stranger these Things, guys right? Want to yeah. Talk about Stranger Things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, now cool. listen, we've got we've got <laughs> a roaming microphone. So what I wanted to do was send it around, uh, and maybe we could start at the back again. Okay, I'm always conscious you of want, the people you right at the back. As well. Because I got two. We, He's got two. We we can put the other one back. It's okay. We can put the other one back. Um, so we'll 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 start at the back. I know we've got you guys for half an hour, so it's not much. Um, so let's see uh, if we can get some good Stranger Things questions. Hiya. Hi. Hey. So this is mostly for Brett, but if anyone wants to answer, they can. Um, so of course, we see you speaking Russian in the show. I want to know if you knew that before the show, or if you didn't, how long it took you to learn? Uh, I did not know it before the show, um, and uh, I did not learn the language, but I learned my lines. <laughs> <laughs> I actually asked my, and I, I had a coach, uh, an amazing coach. Her name's Elena Baranova. And she's coached a lot of people, most notably, uh, she coached Gary Oldman for Bram Stoker's Dracula. And uh, she's amazing. So she really, I couldn't have done it without her. And um, yeah, I just, I, it's hard to know how long I practiced because I just got so obsessed with it. I mean, you know, uh, it's not, it's, it's a challenging language. Um, and also it was, it was a, even more challenging in season four because I not only had to learn the language of the lines, but also the dialect because the accent, because I had to pass myself off as Russian, uh, to the guards. So, uh, yeah, that took me, that took me a bit, but it was, it was really amazing to get to do that. It, yeah. Was there wait? There was there another part of that question that I that I'm not answering? No. Okay, I answered it perfectly. Great. That, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Let's go for another question. What was the strangest thing about working on Stranger Things? <laughs> Should we go down the, the line, or is it from who is that? Is it for all of us? Yeah. 
Yeah. You, do you want to start? No, you can start. All right, fine. Yeah, or, 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 unless you'd want me to start. I'll do Chill whatever out. you want. <laughs> oh, Chill out. I'll try. Um, <laughs> I don't have one. Andre, do you have one? <laughs> no, no. I don't have the strangest thing about Stranger Things. <laughs> well, you don't have a line. Uh, why don't you take a minute to think about? <laughs> you, there was nothing strange about it to you? No, not at all. It just seems normal. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> um, the strangest thing for me, I'd say, was how cold it was in uh, Lithuania when we were shooting those like outdoor Russian scenes by the chopper at like four o'clock in the morning. That was really crazy. Um, yeah, and I made the mistake of not making sure that um, Nico who plays Yuri's hat fit in my head so that when we switched wardrobe that I would have a hat in that cold and not just my bare bald skin <laughs> getting stabbed by the wind. Uh, yeah, so that was that was the weather was was strange. And then we shot some of it like indoors on on the lot. And, and But then there were some in, inside shots that we did in Lithuania, and I'm like, but we could have done all the inside shots in Atlanta. Why don't we do that instead of freeze? But hey, it was still it was still really fun. I'm just kidding. I wasn't really upset about it. But uh, yeah, I guess that was that was the strangest thing. And then also, I mean, the strangest thing about being in Stranger Things is just like what a phenomenon it is. It's it's wild, you know. Because you're like, you know, I'm like you, I'm like sitting at home and then I go out and people are like, wow, and then you're like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm in that show, you know, so that's pretty strange. Well, um, from the, I can say from the third season, strange thing for me was how fast they built that amusement park <laughs> on the farmland in a day. Yeah. It was you, a real, you can, you can but it was like a real, that. but it was a real, real amusement it's, it park. It was completely though. real. Yeah, and and it was massive. Yeah, and they built it in a day. Yeah, it was like it was like literally farmland. It was nothing there. Yeah, and in a day, boom, you come in next day. <laughs> yeah, I think. Well, I think that's what those carnies do. They like build the they they set it up really fast because they so move fast. around. Yeah. But they were great. Yeah, that was amazing. Being on that amusement park, super fun. Really freezing also. Yeah. <laughs> especially, Even though that was in Atlanta. Especially for you. Yeah, I was in like little Daisy Duke shorts and, uh, <laughs> and, a, and a tank top. So I, you know, I was cold. So I would be like, <laughs> be like running and then the like uh, the essays would be there like in front of the like heat lamps and i'd be standing next to them they'd be like oh my god you and uh yeah it was uh it was fun any other you think of anything that was strange for you it's the cold probably the cold when you had to act actually warm and fine in that summer scene it was yeah yeah i agree no i agree <laughs> yeah great uh, <laughs> Fantastic. Another question. Hey, you're all right. Um, my question is, uh, what's it uh, been like? Uh, well, I mean, especially for Brett, probably. Um, what's it been like uh, watching the kids grow up on Stranger Things and like sort of nurturing that talent and seeing them as a ghost? Obviously, we've watched them on screen grow up. But how has that been actually behind the scenes, seeing them become as talented as they are these days? Uh, well, unfortunately, I don't get to work with them all that much. But uh, at this point, I know all of them really well and I love them and uh, I admire them a lot. You know, it's amazing to like, you know, I like you, I was watching the show as a fan in season one and then was cast in it, which was crazy. And uh, yeah, I think I watched like season one in like a day <laughs> and um and then, yeah, to see all of them, I mean, I, they've always been super talented, but then to see them grow and to see them, like, remain okay, too, you know, it's hard being in show business and not going crazy, let alone if you're a kid, you know, it's, uh, it, it can make you go insane. They all are some of the most level-headed people. I, they're more level-headed than I am. So, uh, and it's amazing. Yeah, no, they can. <laughs> no, so they, uh, yeah, it's amazing. It's inspiring to see, you know, and the, the times that I do get to work with them, uh, it's, and how they handle themselves publicly too. It's, it's really, 
it's it's great to see. It's a relief, you know, that they didn't wind up disasters like some other people do. Because <laughs> you can, you know. I mean, like to yeah. So they're they're the best. Does that answer your question? Okay, cool. Hello, um, Brett. I'm so I'm so sorry. This no, is no, no. You're doing oh, well. I'm so sorry. Um, obviously, you know you're a kung fu master. Do you know any martial arts in real life? Yeah, I do. I'm a purple belt, actually, which is not uh, a lot. Uh, you know, it's like well, it's the second belt or no, the third belt. Um, but yeah, but I got into it because I started training for the show. I got and to pit a point kung fu as well. What'd you say? I got to purple in Kung Fu as well. Oh, you like did? 15 years ago. So. Uh-huh. And do you still do it? Yeah, yeah, I know, but, you know. Yeah, you're probably, you know, way beyond what I can do. <laughs> so, uh, but, yeah, I got really passionate about it and, um, start, you know, s- study with the same guys, Simon Ree and Philip Ree, uh, who trained me for the show. And I trained for, like, three months. Amazing. Wow. Okay, let's go. Hello. Hello. Um, I was wondering if you think they killed off a character that they shouldn't have. And this is for everyone. No, all, uh, the, char- all the characters that are dead should be dead. <laughs> Unbelievable. No, of course, you know, I felt very bad that you died and, and you were a villain that to miss. Thank you. were a you. villain to love. Thank you. And so, no, these guys should still be, everybody should be alive. I don't want anybody <laughs> to be dead. Should all be, a you know, nobody, nobody should be dead in Stranger Things. No, I, uh, it was very sad. People got really mad at me when uh, you got killed. Good. At you? Um, they got mad at you? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh uh, no, I'm can, sure, can they, you got sure they got angry at you. Yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you killed him. I just went and got corn dogs. <laughs> you didn't save me. I just wasn't there. I did not save you, but I also did not save you. <laughs> I shouldn't have left, but you shouldn't have left me leave. We were both reckless, and, you know? You suffered the consequences. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just think, listen, in the great thing about these characters and what adds that weight is the reality of having to lose them. So I honestly, yeah, I think, I think that's the right way to go <coughs> for some of them, obviously. <laughs> Not for your character. That would be terrible. If I died? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that would be the real test, right? Of how people feel about Murray if I died. What if I die in season five, everyone? That'd be crazy, right? Well, it's going to be a lot. I'm not saying I'm not saying that. I don't, I, don't know any, I don't know anything that happens in season five. I, I swear. <laughs> yeah. I swear. I hope I don't die. That would suck. People thought I died, though, right? Didn't you all think I died in season four like I was going to... In like part two, there was like a big conspiracy. There was like a thing though where people thought I posted something. Oh yeah, I posted whatever. I'm babbling. Any more questions? Hello. So obviously, Scoops Ahoy is a massive aspect of season three. So I want to know what are your favorite ice cream flavors? <laughs> Bread. <laughs> That's a strange flavor. <laughs> Yeah, I, I agree. Brett ice cream. <laughs> Brett flavored ice cream. Um, ew. Uh, <laughs> what's my favorite ice cream flavor? Oh, that's really hard. I guess like, I mean, I guess like chocolate chip cookie dough is something, is one that I like. I don't know, you know? It's like, I'm always, these days with all foods, including ice cream, I'm like, surprise me. I want new. (laughs) So, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't keep a favorite. I'm just like, what do you got next? Ice cream. (laughs) Give it to me. That's kind of my take on it. Yeah. (laughs) That is hard to follow. It's cool, right? (laughs) I would say like vanilla with caramel and some kind of nut. Very (laughs) noncommittal. Very I like to be loose with my ice cream. <laughs> yeah, so we agree. Yeah. Hey, whatever. Depends what you ate before it, you know, for the meal. Yeah. <laughs> I um I go with chocolate. <laughs> 
of course, yeah. <laughs> Chocolate's a classic. <laughs> <laughs> There's only so long that we can answer about ice cream. <laughs> Brett, do, yes? you, do you like corn dogs? Do I like corn dogs? They're all right. I love hot dogs. I'm a Chicago boy, so we have like uh, Vienna beef hot dogs, which are really, really amazing. One of my favorite things. Um, but like the corn part of it, I don't know. It's just like too sweet for me. And it feels like, I don't know. It feels like uh, I'm just going too far down the bed, you know, but I respect corn dogs. <laughs> Is anyone else getting hungry? <laughs> um, I was just wondering, do you have like a favorite and a least favorite character through any season? What's my favorite character in the in the show? Anyone. Murray. <laughs> <laughs> no, except Murray. Somebody I else. I can't. No, I love all the characters equally. I couldn't do that. Please. I like That'd be terrible. I get in so much trouble. I get everybody but one person mad at me. I like Dustin in the first season. Yeah. If that was the character. Yeah. I like Millie in the first one. <laughs> Millie was good in the first one. I mean, she's good in, in every... She's good. I, I, I know. I see, I see what you're trying to like. I'm, no, she's good. She's good in every season. But I'm, I'm saying like for the, um, uh, for the kid to play that character in the first season... I'm not judging you. Don't no, 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 no. Go. I'm not. I'm not. I, 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 no, I'm just saying for the for the kid, inexperienced actress, to play um, such an emotional um, role. She's amazing. Yeah, amazing actor. Yeah, <clears throat> incredible. Fantastic. We shouldn't upset Andre, by the way, because it feels like I'm going to be yeah. killed. Least, be least, if, least, if my my least favorite. Sorry. My least favorite character. <laughs> Get in line. <laughs> Hiya. Is there a scene from any of the other series that you wish you'd have done, that you were jealous of other people, thinking, oh, that looked like fun, I wish I'd have done that? Oh. oh. TV, TV show? From any... Uh, no, from, from any... Other seasons. No, other seasons. Oh, other so seasons. what's your scene you wish you did? <sighs> That's a good question. So good, I can't answer. I mean, it's pretty cool, like, when Eddie plays Metallica on the roof, you know? That's pretty amazing, like, that he got to, you know, that he played Master of Puppets, you know? Um, yeah, I dug that. I mean, you know, that's one of the many things I, I've seen uh, our co-stars do that I'm jealous of. Yeah, not jealous, but admire. Try not to get, try to limit my jealousy, you know. <laughs> Can get out of control and then you get depressed and then that's a big problem. <laughs> but yeah, I love that moment. I mean, I love all the moments. What else? Yeah. Can I go? No, go, yeah. please. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I think the bull in the in the second season. I'm kind of jealous of that. I never I never went to a bull. I would think it's pretty fun, you know, with the first love kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still doing. You never went rocks. to a dance or anything like that. Or never do a like a no. thing like that. I didn't really either. No. Unbelievable! You can't steal it from me. I was trying to relate to you. I wasn't trying to steal it from you. I didn't realize there was a competition here. I... <laughs> We're having fun. I, I think uh, for me, uh, Docker, when he came in in the second season, right? He brought that uh, bad boy vibe from the 80s. I kind of... I like I like that. You like that. It was it was it was it was a little yeah you know, it was a little different from season one, you know. 
different vibe. He brought a different vibe to the show. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> brought that Billy vibe. <laughs> yeah, that's what we call Billy vibe in the in the business. <laughs> Hi, um, for both the characters that are and aren't dead, um, what song would you want played at their funeral? <laughs> that's pretty deep. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Seriously, I you know I like it. I like that people are. Where that we're talking about death, that we have to have, <laughs> have more conversations about it. It's a reality. Oh, I yeah. should, you know, we should talk oh. about it. Yeah, what do you? What would you have? Well, like a song. Wow. Um, for you, uh, it, it would be that song. What was it? He was uh, something. The Russian man, or something like that. Do you for remember? me? Yeah. I'm yeah, not I'm dead. No, no. I'm just saying. <laughs> so oh, you guys. No, no. Then for I'm me. Fine. I'll question. take that. Fine. No, don't talk about my death. <laughs> Freaks me out. Uh, what was that song? He was a Russian man, something like that. He was long ago. Rasputin. There you go. Probably makes sense, right? <laughs> what about for you, though? What would you want played at Alexei's funeral? Probably that. Oh, okay, so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what about you? Probably like uh, him of the Soviet Union. <laughs> That makes sense, that's, right? Yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Murray's would be WAP by Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. This guy. Um, I don't know if this is kind of answered already, but personally, not your characters, what would be the song that would save you from Vecna? If you were to be God, oh, good. not your characters, just you guys. Like any song? Any song. Mine would be uh, Ashley by Ari Diane. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out, it's an amazing song. It's on Spotify, and Apple Music, whatever, you know, or whatever platform that you listen to. I mean, does anybody listen to a platform other than those two? No, right? <laughs> Probably Edge of Seventeen by Stevie Nicks. Oh. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, there, there's a there's a Soviet song <laughs> from Second World War called Katyusha. Are you a fan of those songs? It's a good song. Yeah, yeah, it's a very good song, actually. No, cool. You you should learn it. You learn Russian, so you should learn at least one song. No, totally, I will learn it. It's got melody development. I'll, I'll, what else do you want? I'll, I'll DM. I'll DM you on Instagram. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. No, email me. You don't have to DM. Email okay, me. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> Uh, if you could kill a character, who would you kill? Oh! Oh, 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 oh God! That's really yeah, green, that's, green that's situation a great situation here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Brett has it coming. I mean, it's just like it's not even the character. It's no, just Brett. Brett. <laughs> not Murray, but Brett killed me. Right? That's what you think? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Who I would kill? Moderator now. Who would you kill? I would kill Vecna. It's kind of me, me too. I mean, I know, I know, it's like not the most exciting choice, but like, who else are you gonna kill? I mean, it's kind of mean to kill anybody else, and he's the villain, and he's pretty bad. So yeah, Vecna. Yeah. And he also deserves it. <laughs> yeah. It's a murderer. So, children. So yeah, he should he should definitely die. Uh, this is kind of not related to Stranger Things, but I'm looking. I'm going to acting school next year, so I was just wondering for any other people who might want to get into acting. Do you guys have any kind of tips or any advice that possibly your younger selves wish that you would have had with getting into acting? Wow. It's this is a long conversation, but I would say just I would say I mean first first things first is I think you 
you have to be in touch with the message that you're trying to, that's, that, well, that's way too deep. <laughs> but <laughs> what I'm saying is um, you have to be sincere and it has to come from you because that's what people want to see. So as long as you hold on to that, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to break down those walls. Are you in acting school? Or are you going to acting school? I'm going to, sorry. Okay, cool. I mean, I would say, you know, learn your craft and always think of it as something that will you will cultivate for the rest of your life and grow in, you know, and like look for that and that uh, enjoy like or don't enjoy, but forgive yourself as much as you can when you fail, you know, and know that that is actually making you a better actor as you do that. And when you get out of school, just like act any way, any time you can. Don't analyze things of what people around you. A lot of times people like to tell you, oh, look, the business wants this, the business wants that. No, it's a lie. It's all things that people tell themselves so that they can def define a very chaotic thing, which is being in show business. And so it's just about launching yourself into that, doing what you want to do, seeing yourself as how you see yourself, not how other people define you, because the people around you will define you less than what you are capable of. And just really... Cultivate that even though it's really hard a lot of the time and you doubt, you might doubt yourself. You know, all of that is just like what every single person goes through. I, I guarantee you that even Brad Pitt right now is sitting at home and feeling the instability of this life that we chose, you know? So it's not about feeling stable. It's about your love for it and just jumping in in whatever you can, in my opinion. On top of what Brad said right now, um, I would say persistence and strong mind because this is a business of rejection. You will get rejected more than you will get bookings. And people quit very fast, long before they get to the point where they start booking. But that's why you have to have strong mind. You just keep going. It doesn't matter. You you get hundred rejections, thousand rejections. You keep going and until you achieve your goal. Yeah, I mean we're we're still getting rejected. All, well, I am. Oh, I can yeah. only speak for oh, myself, yeah. but I'm all, getting rejected totally. all the time. I saw like Nicole Kidman give an interview one time after like saw a screening of a movie of hers, and like the interviewer was like, "Oh, do I? Do you get?" not get projects that you want and she's like all the time so it's just like a part of it and it sucks i mean it's not like be happy about it but and it's, it's probably time, one one of the hardest part yeah because to hear that you didn't book and okay you you like you kind of okay first time second time after 100 time you asking yourself questions uh, uh, am i good for this business can yeah. i can i ever book Right. You know, I still ask that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But is this, break a leg. Is this Happier you, doing it. You guys do to sort of keep yourselves motivated. And I can imagine that being, you know, it, it just must wear you down. How, how do you keep yourself motivated? You have motivated? to, though. You have to have your own measure of what you want to do. It's very easy to measure to what others want to see you. But you have to have and demand more of yourself. So that's... That allows your personal growth, and that's the most important thing. You'll be satisfied. You'll be happier. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. Let's run another question. Yeah. Yeah, go. Let's run down the back. Keeps the runners fit. <laughs> <sighs> All right. So, um, obviously, there's a lot of monsters in Strange Things. I was just curious how much of it's CGI and how much of it's actual you know, animatronics or people in suits? Um, a lot of it is, is CGI, um, like the Demogorgon and stuff like that, and the Mind Flare, obviously. But actually, Vecna was, I think, like, I think it's like 98% Jamie in a suit. Yes. And they did, 
they did actual, uh, the makeup artists did like, you know, that's all, that's all made. That's not uh, CGI'd for the most part. And Murray and Grigori are 100% CGI'd. <laughs> so it's... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except the, except the karate fight, that was real. <laughs> it really was. Did, did you guys see the, the demigorgon dogs that were going around? There's a load of canines all dressed up as demigorgons. Oh, yeah. so amazing. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Did the dog or the dogs okay though, or did, were they like, I get me out of this? <laughs> I didn't stop to ask. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. You got a couple of hats. <sighs> Hi, just following on that from that, I was wondering whether or not you had a favorite fight scene that you were in. My karate scene, yeah, totally. Yeah, I loved that. Um, it was really, that was that was big for me because I grew up, I'm not like, I didn't grow up an athlete, you know, and I was constantly made fun of whenever I played any type of sport. So um, to get to train and do that as uh, you know and it come out as well as it did and like show up prepared felt felt good that like the stunt stunt guys were like a little like okay oh, you know at first and then i mean they were very nice uh but i mean in, you know in a nice version of that uh and and then yeah to show them that i could do it and do all of my moves was really that felt really good and I love how it came out in the show. Come on, it was fantastic. Yeah. You had an amazing fight scene. You had a fight scene. With oh, David. I, I thought it was a question to you. Oh, I thought it was to all oh, of us. Oh, for everybody? So oh, yeah. Fight scene. Oh, yeah, I do all my fight scenes. <laughs> yeah. I do. I, I, I just like it. I do all my, practically, maybe like 90% of my stunts. I, I don't do crazy stunts like Ken did when I got thrown into the cannon. So my stunt double, he actually jumped there and it was like a sort of like a propeller spinning there and his head went like inch of the yeah. propeller. So that kind of stunts, I'm like, ah, you know, I'm still having like a yeah. filming days there. So I am. Right, like when like, we like bump the roof of the plane and smash. Those are stunt doubles. Yeah. That's not me doing that because it's just too much of a. If you know, if we get hurt, then yeah, that shuts down production. I didn't have a fight. You didn't have a fight. Yeah, no, apart from you did. You got beaten up by Clark. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. Yeah, I, lo exactly. I love this. Um, he did. <laughs> <laughs> what did I get beaten up by? Who, who beat me? Everybody. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. but it, was, it wasn't really a fight scene, was it? He, he just pushed me down. <laughs> like, I kind of went, eh. <laughs> just, just, it was pretense, you know. My character was much stronger than he seemed. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, mine's in addition to like what you got asked before, but um, I've kind of dealt with it in theater. But how do you combat the negative self-talk from constantly being rejected? Because for me, like the emotion regulation was extremely difficult. But I mean, obviously, you've been rejected a lot, probably. <laughs> obviously, what? <laughs> Um, no, uh, you don't right, you're saying everyone has been rejected a lot who's in the industry, not just me, <laughs> singling me out. Um, no, uh, how do I deal with it? Sometimes well and sometimes not. <laughs> sometimes, you know, uh, it's just, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I've always been a, a, I mean, I create too, you know, so I, I write things and produce things that I, for me. And so it's a lot of the time keeping a lot of irons in the fire, you know, and projects going so that as most of them uh, fall away, uh, you still have something that you're going to. And then the, 
you know, successes like this are a great surprise, you know, but it's just, I mean, the work, it's really the only answer is working. And, and I don't mean being hired. I mean like creating some sort of work for yourself. And I don't think all actors, I don't think you should write unless you're a writer, but no writers, you know, get to know writers, be, have a sense of community, you know, that, you have people who are who are doing things that are, you know, actors, but also writers, directors, producers, and try to get in some sort of environment where you're around a lot of those people. And then it's a cool thing because you, you all seem to sort of rise up together. Some of you do. And then the rest quit, Absolutely. you know. Um, so I'd, I'd say like work and sense of community and, you know, uh, and stress eating, <laughs> eating your feelings. <laughs> just, I mean, sometimes it's okay. You know, you just got to down like a pizza. <laughs> and that's a no, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I'd say really just like keep it moving, you know, don't let other people define when and how you can create as much as you can. For me, it's the same. You got to move on to the next thing and just forget what has passed. And also the whole idea is just to... <laughs> try to give a hundred percent of yourself and if it doesn't happen then you have no regrets because the worst thing is if you actually regret that you haven't done something and that pain that you feel is great you know like any other pain in life uh that pain that you feel from the rejection is pain it is a gift for your future performances you know of that emotional well that you can keep drawing on more and more as you do it longer and longer. Um, agree with both of them, what they said. Uh, for me, it's also like 24 hours rule. It's, uh, I can be upset for 24 hours. I mean, no, it's not like I'm like going and beating the people up or throwing the furniture on the house. But I, you know, you, we, we all get upset when we got rejected. So for me, it's like, for 24 hours, I can be upset, but after that, I have to move on. And life, life is going on, right? I was going to say, is it still a, fa a case, though, that you know you may have been rejected, but you're still you're still out there, you're still advertising yourself. People are still seeing your face all the time. Um, so it's just a case of turning up, turning up, and turning up. And you know, the the luckiest people that get the parts. Hey ho! They're also, the, you know, there's a correlation between the, the luckiest people and the people that are turning up all the time. Is that how you find it? Yeah, I think that there is an ambition to what we do. And uh, especially when you start to work, making sure that you don't rest on your laurels and get lazy and let other people drive your career, you know, because once you do that, then one day you wake up and you're back to the old days of where you started. But uh, yeah, I think there is definitely something to that. You know, I mean, there's people who are famous in what we do because they're hustlers. They're not even good you know uh but that's a whole art in and of itself so uh, is hustling that you know oh, wow. more power I to him I, you know you want to know who i think is like that i'm just kidding. <laughs> i know that we've only got you for a, a, a short while i've already pushed it time wise but we are so enjoying us i know i'm enjoying us i know that everyone out here is as well we are going to have to make this the last question okay what's your favorite toppings on a pizza it's <laughs> a good one to end it with really good Brett. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love sausage or pepperoni. <laughs> I'm going for meat lovers. Like truffles, you know, like truffles. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, 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 it's, it's, quite, it's quite nice. Yeah, $60 pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Good. Truffles are great. I love truffles. I'm expensive. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> Brett, Alec, Andre, we've literally come to time. We are so excited for the next series. Thank you for Thank you, man. For entertaining us for weeks and weeks and weeks. And I'm watching it all again as well because it's so good. We cannot wait for the next series. Please put your hands together. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.